Now at 6, the Tampa Police Department now being hit with a lawsuit filed by a gun rights group. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Brendan McLaughlin. The I-Team has learned that the Tampa Police Department and the city are being sued by a local gun rights group. This all stems from an incident at Ballast Point Park in South Tampa. Investigator Jared Holbrook is here with us for the details. Jared? Well, the defendant claims his Second Amendment rights were violated by two Tampa police officers. He says he was in his legal right to fish and openly carry his pistol. Yeah, that's a good one. Whiting trout, a lot of shark. I believe they're called bonnet head shark. Ballast Point Pier is a popular spot for fishing. It's inside a family park. Recently, Tampa police received a call from concerned residents about a fisherman carrying a gun. It turns out that man was part of a gun rights group called Florida Carry. Here's a picture of one of their previous events. Since 2010, they say they've been coming here openly carrying their pistols while fishing to educate the public. If you are hunting, fishing, camping, or traveling to or from, you are allowed to open carry a firearm in the state of Florida. That's Eric Friday, an attorney for Florida Carry. He's upset after he says police detained one of his members for more than an hour. It appalls me that there was still an officer in the department who apparently did not know the law. The I-team got a copy of the complaint. Florida Carry is suing the city and the police department. It states George Freeman, who has a concealed weapons license, was fishing with a pistol in his shoulder holster. It was an open carry and in plain sight. Freeman says while fishing, he felt someone grab his gun from behind. When he turned around, it was a uniformed Tampa police officer. The defendant claims after the officers unlawfully searched his wallet and cell phone, he tried to explain that he was in his legal right to open carry. Freeman claims the officer responded by saying, quote, I don't want to hear that blank. Freeman says the officer seized his pistol, his backup pistol he was concealed carrying, and a rifle he had in his car. We would like to see better training for police officers to understand the law. Freeman's guns were returned unloaded in envelopes. He was issued a trespass warning from police banning him from the park for a year. Tampa police say they can't comment on pending litigation. Tampa city attorney later rescinded the trespass warning and apologized in writing. It is not good enough. It's, it's certainly appreciated. It certainly indicates a willingness to take corrective action, but it's not sufficient in and of itself. Florida Carey is also suing for damages in excess of $15,000. Now, we're told the officers were briefed on the open carry law by city attorneys. We're posting the entire lawsuit complaint and the police report on our website. Check it out at abcactionnews.com. I'm investigator Jared Holbrook, taking action for you.